Now, I'm not a hoarder, but I've acquired a lot of electronics over the years, and I seem to always want to keep anything that I can turn on. And that came in handy for today's project using this 35mm camera. Let's hack it. The first thing we need to do, like many of my projects, is take this apart. Now there's a ton of screws in these little cameras. I couldn't believe how many there actually are. It seemed like the more I looked, the more I found little screws to come out. Then I was able to get a small screwdriver and wedge it in and pop the housing off. It actually looks pretty futuristic and cool inside. They should have made these with clear cases. Now that the case is off, the first thing you want to do is identify this large capacitor. This is actually the flash capacitor and can hold a powerful punch if it's still charged. Taking a screwdriver with a plastic handle, short out those two terminals. The last thing I want to do is have you end up on the floor. Now it's time for more screw removal. After loosening up a flexible circuit board, I found all these gears. They must control the zoom, film movement, and other functions. I'm going to hang on to those. Okay, now it's time for some bigger tools, a pair of needle nose pliers, and some snips. We're going to need to cut some wires just to make some headway into this camera. I can't believe back in the day they actually took these cameras apart to repair them. Crazy. I also found a couple of motors inside the camera, which are great for future projects. Now this might seem boring to you, but I was having a great time taking this camera apart just to see what makes it go. And after a few more nudges, we have our lens assembly out. This is what we wanted to get down to. In this assembly, you're going to find a bunch of clear plastic lenses and prisms. I'm sure I'll find a use for these down the road. Maybe shoot a laser through them. Okay, the main lens assembly is now freed up. And maybe I could use this down the road for a future Halloween costume. What do you think? A few more screws to remove and we're getting down to the internal parts of this zoom lens, which consists of a bunch of different lens elements. And after digging, I finally got down to this one piece that I've been looking for. I believe it's the closest lens to the aperture, but I'm not exactly sure. It has three small holes in the housing, which is what I need for this project. Okay, so what about the rest of this stuff? Well, the main parts and housing for the camera are probably pretty useless. You can sift through them and see if there's anything you want to keep. but. You're going to want to save a lot of really cool stuff like these gears, the capacitor, a couple of motors, the flash element, some springs, all of those tiny screws, maybe fix some eyeglasses down the road, and those prism pieces. I just dumped everything into a little plastic container, marked it, and put it in my workshop. Now it's time to get a paper clip. I'm using a plastic covered paper clip because it's soft and it has a pretty color. So I'm going to straighten that out as best I can. Now remember our lens element? Well, again, it's got the three holes and with a slight trim of the plastic, this paper clip fits right inside those holes. And as you can see, this lens fits right over my camera lens on my phone. This will work with just about any phone you might have. Then after some trial and error and fitting, I carefully bent this paper clip so it'll fit snugly on my phone and also hold the lens element like this. If you've done it right, it'll fit good and the macro lens will be perfectly centered over your camera lens. Now, let's test it out. I can get super close with my phone and it takes crisp images. And of course, you can shoot video as well. You have to hold it steady, but it works. And that's how to hack a vintage camera to get a macro lens for up close images and video. Now, as a guy, I know getting up close is important, especially when it comes to shaving. And nobody gets closer for less than Harry's, who I've been telling you about for some time now. Their high-quality German-engineered blades are crafted for sharpness and precision. They really are amazing. They're half price of the big-name drugstore brands, and of course, they're shipped completely free to your door. Their starter kit is just 15 bucks, and that includes the sleek razor, three blades, and either Harry's shave cream or their foaming gel, which is what I like. Plus, as an added bonus, you'll get $5 off your first purchase with my code KIPK5. So support my show and head over to harrys.com and experience a new way to shave. That's harrys.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.